was never here? What if he decided that he was going to pursue a career in the arts, possibly opera, but not school? What would be different about us? Mr. Edigan, in his 30-year career, has done nothing short of shaping young minds, inspiring the younger generations, and writing recommendations to move people onto higher points in their lives. He shows us what it is like out there, in the real world. Hi everyone, I'm Eddie, and I will be debating the negative side for the resolution resolved that schools do not prepare students for the real world. To start, as always, I would like to define a few terms from our resolution. From Merriam-Webster's dictionary, schools are organizations that provide instruction. Uh, to prepare is to make ready beforehand and to be in a proper state of mind. A student is defined as a learner, especially one who attends school. And the real world, according to dictionary.com, is shown as the realm of practical or actual experience, as opposed to the abstract, theoretical, or idealized sphere of the classroom. There are a few things I would like to show you today. First would be the interest to be able to choose what you would like to do in life. Second is the ability, disregarding unemployment rates at this point, to seek a job. Lastly is the ability to handle and understand money. First off is your interests. Now, I don't know what I currently want to do with my life. I could be working at Elevation Burger, depending if I get accepted, or Froyo Shop, but who knows? But schools, speaking directly about high schools, offer a broad range of electives. All of us in here are taking advanced debate. Why? Because we like to argue and speak in front of other people. People take photography classes. Why? Because they like taking pictures of things. People take business courses. And you can figure because they're interested in business. It makes sense why schools have different electives to choose from. Class choice brings out the interests in people and helps them decide what they want to do with their future. If you excel in one of these classes, you can even go to a higher learning institution or schooling program to, to pursue a career to prepare for the real world. Haven't we all been to the assembly each year to talk about the school Eastern? Eastern is a school where people who excel in people who have interests in art, firefighting, police force, cosmetics, and many other ideals go to learn and prepare themselves for their futures. If you tell, if you tell me that that is not specifically directed toward preparation in the real world, I don't know what is. In high schools, they offer courses that deal with money, so someone who cannot write a check or manage a bank account can learn how to. I'll, I'll just specifically use Upper Dublin's current elective choices for this year that either deal with understanding of money, uh, the economy, marketing, finance, or business classes. We have at least 10, probably more, courses that deal with money and preparation of its practical use in the real world. In the class description for the course of entrepreneurship, it says, and I quote, Throughout the course, students will cover all aspects of running a business, including developing a business plan, identifying and meeting market needs, marketing, one businesses, marketing one's business, deciding on an ownership type and business location, engaging in operational, financial, and risk management decision making, and managing for the future. Students will also experience real life entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial ventures in each of these areas. It says it right there, folks. Real life. If that all isn't enough for you, why do you think teachers are here? Teachers are in front of the class to teach us how to think, not what to think, so we're able to make our own decisions with our lives. Guidance is defined as the act or function of guiding direction. A counselor is defined as a person who counsels or advises. Now putting those two terms together, we get a person who advises someone into the right direction. That is what these people are here for. They're here for our help, for our needs. It might be argued that some people aren't successful or are not prepared. Well, let's look at this resolution one more time. Schools do not prepare students for the real world. Schools most definitely give the students the option to prepare themselves for the real world, but in the end, it's up to the student to follow through. If we've had schooling for so long, and it's worked out all these years, why change it now? Thank you. Vote negative.